Hey you guys, Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. Today I am going to be sharing with you some of my August favorites. And I'm putting August in quotation marks because probably haven't done a favorites video in a few months. So these are some things that I've really been compiling over the summer. Um, some things that I have found and that I love and that I think that you will love too. Um, the first thing I'm actually wearing, it is this, which does not look like much, but it is actually amazing. Um, this is called the Knitter's Keep and I got it from Coco Knits. So this is intended, I think, for knitters and not sewists, but I saw it and I thought that it made so much sense for a sewist too. Um, basically, it is a silicone bracelet that is like those snap bracelets from like back in the 80s and 90s. And this part here is a magnet and the magnet holds all of your pins or safety pins or anything else mag metal that you're trying to keep hold of. So when I'm sewing, I will have this on and as I pull my pins out, you know, when you pin up your seam um, and you sew them as you get to them, you pull them out, right? Um, you can clearly drop them into your sewing case or you can slap them onto here. It's also really helpful for when you're pinning something. Um, you know, they have those tomato things that are also bracelets um, that people have used over the years. Um, it's a similar thing as a pin cushion on your wrist. It's just magnet instead of an actual cushion that you pin into. Um, so as you're, um, you know, pinning your seam allowance or pinning your pattern to your fabric when you're cutting it out, you know, anything where you would need pins really close by, um, this is, this is the way I'm doing it now. Um, I wear it on both wrists depending on what I'm doing. So I'll wear it on my least dominant hand when I'm pinning for cutting or pinning the seams together. And then I'll wear it on my most dominant hand whenever I am sewing because I pull the pins, like you put the, the <laughs> seam through the machine and you pull the pins out with your left hand and then they go on to here. So it kind of goes back and forth. I guess in a perfect world, I might get two and that way I don't have to switch between arms. Um, I do really love it that much that I would get to because it is really that handy. Not like looking around like where is my, you know, sewing, um, my sewing pin container. The I have the um, magnetized container too, but I'm, I only have one of them and I feel like it's always on the cutting table when I'm at the sewing table and at the sewing table when I'm at the cutting table and I'm always looking for it. This way I have, you know, 10 or 15 pins on my wrist at all times. Now, if you are actually a knitter, um, this thing comes with things that I don't really know what they are, if I'm being perfectly honest. Um, uh, 10 small stitch markers, 10 large stitch markers, 10 opening stitch markers, two bent tip tapestry needles, two curved cable needles, and a cotton bag. I know what the cotton bag is, obviously, um, including this um, magnetic silicone slap bracelet. So it all gets packaged in this cute little container um, with a lid and um, it comes in different colors. So I got the green one. They have like a like a dark blue gray, almost navy gray, um, an orange one, which I wanted, but they were out of stock whenever I ordered this a few months ago. This green one, and I think one more color, I can't remember what it is. Um, and then you get this little bag, Knitter's Keep, and inside the bag is all of the um, those other things that I mentioned that I don't really know what they are. Um, here they all are in their own little, in their own little packaging. So super super cute great little idea um it's 40 dollars for the whole thing um which might be a lot if you're just using the bracelet actually yeah it's definitely a lot if you're just using the bracelet like i get that now i don't know why that didn't register before <laughs> that i was spending 40 dollars on a magnetized bracelet but 
if I use it all the time and it's really helpful, there's a lot of value there for me. So even though I'm not using all these other things, I still really like it. I don't think she has any intention on selling the bracelet by itself, but y'all can ask and see what she says. Um, like I said, got it at Coco Knits. Again, as always, all of the links will be down in the description box. Um, so here's how you access the description box. Um, I'll leave it up here for a few seconds so you guys can see. Um, and there's lots of information there in all of my videos. So learn that, memorize it, and um, you'll always find tons of information there. I think y'all missed that, but he had a really hard time getting up on the sofa. Okay, so that's the first thing. The Knitters Keep um, Magnetic Silicone Bracelet. The second thing is not $40. It's very inexpensive. It is the Dritz elastic threaders and I'm not sure why I've never seen these before but I was at Joann's um in their notion section just not really looking for anything but just sort of like looking around and I saw these and I thought okay that is really smart and really helpful I wonder if it really works <clears throat> basically you get three of these little things in different sizes this one comes with quarter inch this is a half inch one and then there's a three quarter inch width one um, and it has these three little holes at the top that you feed your elastic through do you want me to get some elastic to see I feel like I have some around here somewhere hold on okay so I only got some elastic here it is and you basically feed it through the bottom one up into the top one like this and you create this like secured little contraption then you take this little long rounded end and you feed that into your casing so if it's your waistband or your sleeve or you know wherever you're putting the elastic and you feed this through and you think to yourself well I can do that with a safety pin and, and those are like super cheap I can't explain to you how much better of a job this thing does just in general it does a better job it's longer so it's easier to grab onto than that little safety pin it also because it's longer and kind of pointy not it's not a point it's a rounded end but because it has that like tapering to it it's easier to feed it through where there are seams so you know when you come to um, like a side seam, for example, and you have the bulk from the side seam seam allowance that you're trying to get that safety pin through and the, the end of the safety pin keeps going into the little like nook that you create with the seam allowance. This is much, much easier to get it through that area than a safety pin could ever, ever, ever do. Um, this cuts the time that it takes to feed elastic through like a waistband easily in half maybe more I should do like a test run and time it one day so y'all can see um but I have been so just pleasantly surprised and like super impressed with the simplicity of this but how well it works I mean it really it really really does work um I love this I love this so much I like I said I only have the ones for the three widths but if they had ones for larger if they had ones for all the widths of the elastic i would get them because it it does that good of a job um so you'll definitely need to check these out those of you that are making elastic wasted anything things for your kids i know um kids patterns have elastic in just about everything um you need this this is going to change your life this little plastic revolutionary <laughs> sewing tool right here mark my words so check the description box find the link get you some of these the dritz elastic threaders is what they're called okay the third thing is um not really sewing related at all um more of a psa for those of you that like to do diy or home decor um as you know i've been redoing my sewing room i am so so close so so close to being able to film the reveal video I have um, a lighting piece that I need to hang 
um, and then a few small, small details, and I will be able to do the video reveal and show you guys the whole space. You've seen bits and pieces. The um, wallpaper that's behind me, I have a whole video all about that. I'll link that in the description box below so you can see. Um, and I've got some pillows that you can't see here and just a lot of cool things that are coming um, into place. And when I do the reveal video, you'll get to see all the details, where everything came from, so on and so forth. But one thing that I have um, really been <laughs> obsessed with with this room is basically painting all of the things gold like everything needs to be gold in here in the story um there's not a single thing in here that's metallic that's not gold i'm not into the mixing of the metals in this space it is all gold all day long so but not everything i find to buy is gold so I found this spray paint. It's the Rust-Oleum Inspire Metallic Paint in Metallic Gold. And I just feel like getting a metallic gold finish in spray paint is not that easy. I've seen a lot of gold spray paints that just fall a little bit flat, you know? Um, and they don't really look metallic. They kind of look like painted yellowy orange brownness. You know what I'm saying? Um, but this stuff actually does a really good job. I'll say that it's not as lacquery as this. Um, this is the lighting fixture that I painted. This is what's going to go up onto the ceiling here, um, like a track lighting thing. The whole thing was silver and I painted it gold. And I just feel like the, the gold here is just very elegant and really pretty and really gold looking. I mean, it looks gold to me. That's what I love about it. Um, it matches all of the gold finishes of everything else that I've bought. Like I have a mirror with gold finish and a bunch of decor items and, um, different things are in the room that are gold. And this, this holds up to, to whatever treatment those other things got. It doesn't look like spray paint. It looks like it might have come this way. So I just wanted to give a shout out to spray paint, to Rust-Oleum. Um, if you're looking for gold spray paint, I highly recommend this one. I found it at Lowe's, but I'm sure it's available online. And like I said, I'll link it down below. And um, you can, if you're looking to spray paint anything gold, this, I think, would be a great option. So it's a favorite for this month because I've been using it a lot. This is like almost empty, the whole can. <laughs> Mind you, like I'm not spray painting a wall, like I'm spray painting a light fixture and some frames <laughs> and things like that and I've almost gone through the whole thing. Um, painting a lot of things gold, but I think it's gonna be really nice and the color's turning out perfect. So, that's it. Those are my three favorites for August slash the whole summer, but who's counting? Um, I have a bunch of exciting videos planned for you guys this month. Um, the I'm, I'm going to do a whole video on my plans for September, which will include a lot of those things that I have coming up. But um, the weather is cooling off here finally. So I'm feeling the itch, the fall sewing itch. And fall might be my favorite season to sew for. Should I say that? Maybe I should think about that more before I fully commit to that statement. But it's an exciting time. So I'm rambling. Thanks so much for watching. Um, don't forget to check the description box where you can find all of these items. Do y'all wanna know where I got this? I'll put this in the description box. Um, Lots of good info there. Check it out. Leave me any questions that you have about anything in the comments and I will reply to them ASAP. Otherwise, I will see you all very soon. Thanks for watching.